Lonsdale belt holder, not just British champion, Lonsdale belt holder. How does that sound, Brad? Sounds great, you know, this, this was one of my goals coming into boxing. Um, and I've done it tonight, you know, it means the world. I'm a bit tired now. Didn't feel the best in there, but, uh, you know, I got the win. And I've took these belts on, that's the main thing. It was a fight of three parts. You had that fast start, first three, three or four rounds where you were dominating yeah. and you looked like you were getting to him. Then you seemed to drift away for a few rounds. Then you came back the last three or four yeah. rounds. Was that intentional? Uh, to be honest, I didn't feel like I woke up until the, I think, the, the seventh round, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't think I was very good in it, all, all that fight, to be honest, apart from when it, the, the seventh round and onwards. That's when I feel like I came. I was getting my distance right and everything. But the main thing, I've got these belts. That's, that's what I came here for. You got those belts, you're still a boxing baby, you're still inexperienced in boxing terms. But what would you like, apart from a long break and a relax, what would you like in the next six months to 12 months? We'll have a chat with my team. Obviously, I want to I wanna break at the minute, um, take a little rest. I feel like I'm a bit tired. So uh, have a break, have a rest, and then we can have a, a think about it when, with my team. Because it's, it's now five British title fights in 16 months. You're in rarefied company for guys that have done that. Do you, I know that we've all been in lockdown and in theory you've just been driving around and cycling. You've not been overtraining. But do yeah. you feel a bit tired from that 16 months of preparing for 12 round fights, Brad? You're only normal. I do feel tired and with this lockdown, you know, all you've been doing is, all I've been doing, working and training, there's no play. You've got to have, have a rest to do the things, go with your mates, go out, go have a a dance, a boogie, and I ain't been able to do that, so I, I, all I've been doing is working and training. But do you know what? It's positive vibes, isn't it? I've, I've come out with the belts, what more can I ask for? No, I should probably ask you a sensible question, something about being a key worker or where you're going to put the Lonsdale belt in your house, but I'm not. I'm going to ask you about the boogie in. Uh, it is all about just going out and having a proper Saturday night special, isn't it? Of course, that's what I've missed, you know. I don't drink, I don't do anything like that, so uh, I just go out for a little dance and I miss that little two-stepper and I can't <laughs> wait to do that with my boys. <laughs> Listen, Brad, it's been a pleasure covering you the last 16 months. Well done tonight. Hard fight. And you showed some skills, real, real class at the end. Yeah, I just want to say credit to James Beach. You know, that would have been a cracking fight in the mid if all the fans, oh. If all the fans could have gone, it would have been an amazing event. And also, I want to thank my sponsors, Warren Dyson, Emporium Gym, Knockout Diner, Fenham Boxing with McGlaws, Foster, Litchfield, Knockout Diner, LA Roofing, Baxter Williams, Nankang, PCA Physical. They've all helped me through this lockdown getting the facilities with the training as well. You ain't missed any out, have you? No. Nah, Good, thank God. So, anyway. Listen, you go off, get changed, back to the hotel, get boogie in tomorrow night. Paul, he might be young, but he can talk, and what's more, he can certainly fight.